Hello and welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramon, joined today by Violet House Thor, and this is our special pairing show. And you just heard Sergeant Skag, also known as Sergeant Skagnetti, with Murder House. And we started off with Five Iron Frenzy. It was a dark and stormy night. Mm. Interesting part of our pairing show where we pair a nationally or internationally known artist up with one of our local bands from the Western New England area. And we think that if you like the uh, nationally or internationally renowned band, you'll probably like the local one too. Yeah. Just as much or even more so. So Five Iron Frenzy is definitely a band that folks outside of the ska punk scene might not have heard the name of, but in the scene, it's pretty well known. Uh, it's one of the faces of the uh, mainstream revival of ska in a lot of ways, along with like Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Never, never quite to the same degree, but they were always pretty well known. Uh, they were also one of the pioneering figures figures in the Christian ska movement. No, I'm not joking. That is a real thing. Hmm. Pretty, and, and, really and, fun. And, to have a great sense of humor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, really big uh, side of uh, pop punk too. Yeah, no, it's it's that ska punk sound where it's yeah. sort of pop punk, but sort of ska influenced and with those really fun horn tones. I always really like this style. And this track is a wonderful single. Uh, it was a dark and stormy night that I always happen to really like. Great album in general, actually. Engine of a Million Plots. Just a really good album. I see why they're so popular now. Oh, yeah, they're a lot of fun. And... I paired them up with a wonderful New Haven, Connecticut act, Sergeant Skag. I love these guys. <laughs> this one's called Murder House. It's off of the album At Least More Than Halfway Dead, which actually just came out a couple months back. They've been doing a lot of shows lately and, and been, been trying to get out there and see them because they, they sound so cool when I see their videos on, on Facebook and stuff. Mm. Um, they don't have any shows scheduled in the area coming up, but they do have... Uh, the second annual Happy Scala Days on Saturday, <laughs> December December 9th in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. There is that. They're definitely a bit of a fixture in the northeastern U.S. ska punk scene. They've been playing together since the 90s and have been doing some incredible stuff. They took a very long break, but now they are back and they are playing and they are incredible. Yeah, they, they even split an album in 21 with Hans Gruber and the Diehards, and they're well respected. Oh, not yeah. your typical third wave ska. They they change it up a bit, and in, in a good way. No, nah, no, nah, they're just a really good ska funk act, taking it forward into the new age of ska. Love to see it. Cool. So, Violet, how do you want to end this show? We're going metal. We're going full oh. blown metal. <laughs> We're going to be pairing Ozzy Osbourne. Yep, Ozzy Osbourne with the local band Nor'easter. Let's start things off with Ozzy. Here's Bark at the Moon. Oh! 